Hey everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this amazing little instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and today we are going to take a look at another more contemporary song. Well, somewhat contemporary when you consider this song came out almost 20 years ago now in 2002. It's Coldplay's In My Place. Yes, it's another one that uh, works nicely on the mandolin, and it has a nice, sweet little intro, as you heard me play there, that works perfectly on this instrument. So give it a try. Check out this tutorial. I'm sure you'll enjoy playing this song. But first, uh, let's talk about a little business on this site. Thanks very much for all of your support over the last few months. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, if you're new here, uh, welcome to the site. I hope you're enjoying it. And please uh, hit that subscriber button, that little red tab down there on the lower right corner of your screen. Please hit that before you leave. It really helps us to continue to grow and grow we have been doing. Also, if you'd like to support us a little bit more, maybe perhaps a little bit financially, please check out our links to Patreon down below. I'll be uh, posting some lessons there that are a little bit different from this channel. And also, I have some Amazon links down there if you're looking to do any holiday shopping or shopping at any time during the year, no matter when you see this video. Okay, that's enough talking, enough business here on RPM. Let's take a look at Coldplay's In My Place on Rock and Pop Mandolin. Okay, everybody, the introduction to this song is really fun. And uh, by the way, yes, as you heard off my intro, I'm using a drum machine with this track for the first time. Actually, it's a metronome, a metronome program that I downloaded for free onto my iPhone, but it also has some cool little drum tracks on there that you can use. They're basic, they're not programmable or anything, so I can't put any fills in, but they, they work really nicely for songs like this where there are some gaps, right? It keeps you really in time nicely when you play along with the metronomes. So when you're practicing, I totally advise you to try to use a metronome if at all possible, especially playing songs like this one. Okay, let's take a look at the introduction to this song. It's a really wonderful introduction in the key of A, but really playing around with some fifths in this little progression, in this little part. So I'll show you what I mean here. Your first note is this note right here, your open E string, right? The highest string on the mandolin in sound, right? So you're starting there, which is the E, and that's a fifth of the A chord, all right? And then you're going down to another E, down here, second fret of the D string, right? Those are two E octaves right there, and they're both the fifth of the A chord, all right? So it starts off like this. Just little octaves from high to low, like that. All right, so. Okay, so that's really cool. That's a, that's a cool little lick. And again, you're starting with those octaves. Then you go up to the A string and you do this little pattern. Just really simple. Like that. Okay, so what's that? Well, that's second fret of the A to the fourth fret of the A. And just back and forth for the first few times. All right, so like this. So that goes three times. They do that little pattern. And then the final part of it, there's a little, there's a little slide. So you can either slide it from the second fret or just slide it from the third fret. I think the second fret is better. It doesn't sound so, that sounds a little more sort of bluegrassy there. And this is not a bluegrass song, obviously. So you probably wanna, you probably wanna slide it from the second fret, which is a B note to a C sharp note here. So. And then you just hit this top part, or highest sounding part, of an A chord, right? Don't worry about the note down here on the G string. Just hit it from, from there, right? So that second fret again of the D, open A and open E once again, right? So one more time, that opening lick.
Okay, and so while that opening lick is going on, you have the uh, main chords to this song, at least the main chords for the verses. And the main chords are A, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, and E. Okay, so A, right? I'm playing the A down here, second fret of the G string, second fret of the D, and those open two strings, so there's an A chord. Then I play an F sharp minor here, and I'm trying not to hit the E string with this chord. I'm just trying to hit those three strings here. So this note here, which is the sixth fret of the G string, and then the fourth fret of the D string, and then the A open there. So like that, that's a F sharp minor chord. All right, so A to F sharp minor, and then jump up to the C sharp minor, which is right here. This is again that sixth fret of the G string, but now the sixth fret of the A and the, uh, sorry, the sixth fret of the D string and the seventh fret of the A, all right? So my bad there. Sixth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret there. All right, that's a really nice chord. That's a really nice C sharp minor chord, all right? And then you're going to an E, all right? And I'm playing this basic E down here at the bottom of the neck down here. So first fret on the G, second fret on the D, and second fret on the A. So one more time, those chords for the verses are A, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, and E. All right, so those are the basic chords. Now, you want to get this rhythm pattern down. And this rhythm pattern is a little tricky, and I think mainly because it's played so slowly. It's a really slow groove. So you got to get that groove. And here it goes something like this. Okay, so I'm playing the A for a couple of beats there. And then I'm kind of doing a little bit of a, just kind of a muffled string rake here, right? You're just going, and you come down on the, that part of the F sharp chord, the F sharp minor chord. So like that, so. And then you kind of do, I do a little, Another little sort of ghost note rake thing on the strings. And here you're just not holding down any strings. You're just putting your, your, your fingers against the strings to deaden them. So you get that sort of a rhythmic thing. So you're doing it like this. So each time you change chords, you kind of give a that sort of thing, right? So one, and even going down to that E. So you're really only pressing down on the chord on the last part of that beat, so. Like that. All right, so those are the main chords for the song in the verses and the intro part where you're doing that, that little part. Those are the chords that go underneath that. Now let's take a look at uh, really the only other part you have to worry about in the song, and it's kind of like a, a chorus part, I guess. Or maybe it's like a pre-chorus. So what are those chords there? Well, that's a D. Yeah, I know you stay for me. Okay, so it's a D chord there, and then to an A chord, and then an E chord again down here. And the key to this uh, little pattern is that movement from like that. So this note here to there. But those notes are contained in the chords you're playing. Watch this. So here. And here. That time I didn't I didn't voice the full E chord, but you could, right? So it's an E chord. D chord, A chord, E chord, right? So we do that three times.
And then the final one, they go back straight from the D to the E. And I just give it a little bit of an arpeggiated, like that. A little bit different than what's done on the guitar, but, but kind of similar. He does the same thing. He arpeggiates an E chord on the guitar. I'm just choosing different notes from that chord, but they, they work the same. So one more time, that pre-chorus or whatever it is. And the last time. And then you're back into... And that is Coldplay's In My Place for Mandolin here on RPM. Actually, not a very difficult song, and you should have a lot of fun playing that one. It's a really fun little lick to play on the mandolin. Thanks very much for tuning into this tutorial on Coldplay's tune here on RPM. My name is Mike DeJong, and, you know, check out some of the other tutorials that I have here. I have songs right from the 60s up until uh, the noughties, as I call them, like this song from 2002. I hope you enjoy all the lessons here on the website, and please subscribe if you are new to this channel. Also, check out our Patreon links down below and the links to our Amazon uh, products as well. Some products that I make a, a small commission from if you click on those Amazon links. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks again for tuning in to RPM.